Hey guys, and welcome back to Europa Universe Alice 4 as Congo. Right, we, it's been a good few days since I last played this, and uh, we actually missed a day of recordings, which was terrible. Uh, right, we were sieging down Katsina because Kano went to war with them. We were getting ready to go to war in Morocco, but me, like a freaking idiot, decided, what the hell, decided that I was going to try and peacefully vassalize them, which was a stupid idea. And I might just break royal ties. Oh my god, that's such a bad idea. They all transfer trade power to me though. I wonder if we can get them up to uh, up to the right amount. I'm going to have to try it because losing that point is just not great. France, why do, why would France break their alliance with me? Competing great power, they want more provinces. Claim CB, blah blah blah. Okay. They just flipped the hostel. Uh, I don't understand why they would flip the hostel while having royal ties. I don't get that. It makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. What are you? Oh, you've rivaled us now. Okay. Okay, we'll just ignore you then. <clears throat> We'll wait until these guys have sieged us down, and then that'll end this war. So I stop them force marching. I don't know if force march decreases the amount of time that you... Why are we losing so much? We got reinforcements? We're not actually losing so much, that's wrong. Okay, that's that siege over, let's pull you out. Oh, and they just uh, busted the walls. France have cancelled the military access. Hostile. Sorry, that should flip soon anyway. So stupid. Cantor has a. Oh, right, that's why. Because <laughs> we're converting it, it's got unrest. <clears throat> Come on. I don't even think I've got a claim on this province. Oh, no, I don't. Lame. Malindi has got the end of internal conflicts. I didn't even know we had fleet basing rights in France. Thank you, France. That will save me money. Uh, that was silly. I can't believe I had fleet basing rights. Oh, that's right. We were trying to pay for the Moroccan revolutionaries, weren't we? Hmm. I suppose there's nothing to stop us doing that, and also uh, trying to get them. Do you want to ask Morocco if they want to transfer part of their trade power to you? Yeah, how much do you want to give me? They want to give me quite a lot of trade power. And get 59% off of them. As far as I remember, that makes them like me. Um, okay. Bugger, I was wanting to look there. Yeah, transfer trade power too, plus 11. I don't understand that. I don't understand why that makes them like me anymore. It makes no sense whatsoever to me. Whatever, I'm not going to complain about it. I may complain about it. No, I'm not. Um right, okay. It still says I'm losing money, but I'm not. They'll try to peace out. Concede defeat, nope. I'm just about to siege you. I mean it's either I take you or Kano take you, so Does this not pull me into... Yeah, that pulls me into a war if I vassalise them. Katsina and subjects will give up claims in Congo. That's pretty cool. Um, If I do that... Then that means I can take them and be at war with Kano. 
So, I'm going to pull you guys down here. That's a great way to, uh... A great way to get into this war without having to break the peace treaty. Yeah, this will be a ten, ten year quicker. That's awesome. That's just perfect timing. There we go, so let's group you guys up. So normally I would just take these people because there's not much point in annexing them because they're... Uh, there's not much point in vassalizing them and waiting the 10 years to annex them. But if it means that I can get a war 10 years quicker with Kano then it makes a hell of a lot of difference. So let us just wait. Oh, I can't see a trade node. We actually have a decent amount of power here. If only we had another merchant. We'll transfer most of it to Timbuktu, <laughs> where we collect it. Oh god, 33 Regiment, Revolt and Kong. Alright guys, two seconds. We need you to uh, sort out Kong first. If I'd done that I would get one stability but I'd lose a lot of local autonomy. Hmm, that's like 15% everywhere for one stability. Eh. Uh, hmm, I don't know. You know what, sure, I'll gain that stability because that'll actually help me out a fair bit. <clears throat> and it means I don't need to move these guys anyway. We're probably going to get called for peace soon. I should also... While I can grab this and upgrade these guys as well. Because I was at 900, so it makes sense. What's the next idea that we've got here? Lower interest per annum, possible advisors. These ones are good, like these. No, these two are good, but that's it. But I need to do this if I want to reform my government. But then why would I want to reform my government? We've went this far without reforming it. And if I don't reform it, then I get all of those... Fantastic, uh... <clears throat> fantastic events that give me extra stability. Like that last one. At the cost of a lot of, um, local autonomy, but that's still pretty good. Am I actually losing money? I don't think I am. Yes, I am, but that's only for uh, reinforcements. But over the force summit? Since when? Oh, local autonomy. Got you. The extra, all that extra local autonomy is put us over the force summit by four. So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, so what we're going to do is we go into uh, unrest map mode. And we'll just see if we can reduce local autonomy anywhere. No, that's three... There you go, that's twelve. Reduce it there, fourteen. Fourteen. I reckon all these ones that have got... Yeah, all these ones that are just sitting on fifteen, I can probably just knock back down again. Ah, oh. oh, there we go. Because the reason that they are at 15 was because of that thing. So I don't think it will give us any unrest whatsoever. Yeah, I think we're fine. Actually, any... Let's just whip down to the bottom. And any of these that are at 15, just we'll lower them. There we go. The ones that are still at 15 that we can't lower are because of, um, we've probably recently lowered them, I'm guessing. Uh, let's check, check some of these other ones that are a bit higher. There we go, what about you? Let's just keep reducing and we'll see if we can get... A bit more money out of it all. I can't reduce that anymore. 
They've already got unrest. Yeah, the 3.7. Anyone else that I can do something with? I can increase this. Oh, why would I want to increase that? Why would I ever want to increase that? Anyone else that's got some local autonomy that we can decrease? Fernando Poe? Nope, Fernando Poe just doesn't get any autonomy. It's like, fuck you. What about you? Yep. Yep, fine. And... Ah, there we go. And is that popped our full summit back up? Yeah, we've got 124 summit now. Perfect, there we go. We'll not spend unnecessary money. I was going to say unnecessary money for no reason, but then the addition of no reason would uh, make that statement unnecessary. Let's send demands. Yes. Perfect. Now let's pile you guys into this land. You can go there, and you can go to air. <coughs> hey, conversion. There we go. Conversions are fast as heck. There we are. Now let's send you to Kano. Detach you and move you forth. This is great that we just popped into this war. Yep, no probs. Huh, the ally does just as we popped out of the war. I should have kind of jumped on that, but Morocco jumped on it for me, so jobs are good in there. Um, not improving relations with Morocco. He's wanting to support rebels, he's supporting uh, improving relations with them. I'm going to call to arms because. As far as I remember, if we finish the war together, that will give me a nice boost as well. And then, hmm, yeah, and then I can get subsidies and stuff like that. And oh, we should be able to get them to uh, to beat our buddies. Alright, let's move him forth. Sally forth. Right, let's go to there. And down. You are there. As soon as anyone moves, pause it. There we go. You go there and round. Just chain siege the crap out of this place. And then as soon as that's done, we will be able to take a massive chunk out of them. There we go. Just get everyone to keep freaking moving round. Keep chain sieging. And we shouldn't face any opposition with this place at all. There we go. We should be alright. I think we've got enough people that we will, uh. Yeah, sorted. There we go, and this is the last two places for all of these. Oh, we've still got 13,000 men just jollying around. You can go Zazo. You can just stay there. You can stay there. And you can stay here. Sorted, fully sieged. You can go there. You can go here, you can go there. Jobs are good. Where are you going, Zazo? Yeah, sorted. Oh, just seen walls breached there. Uh. 
Well, apparently they had a rebellion, a peasant rebellion. There we go, shut that down. Ooh. Hope they don't mind. No, apparently they don't mind. That's cool. And everything's getting sieged and I am a happy, happy man. Well, uh, I'll sort out the armies later, I suppose. <laughs> it's not a big deal. <clears throat> ah, the uh, the sights of a chain siege. It's exactly what I like to see. Reclaim Cameroon. Really? Oh yeah, freaking France took it. That's right. The bastards. We'll sort out France, all in good time. Brunswick's a fucking coalition against them. Right, let's grab you and just shove you in here, I suppose. We'll just fill up this until I've got a full army and then I'll uh, siphon them off to somewhere else, I suppose. I think that might have actually been an army in and of itself, but let's just send you there. Siege of Borno and Damagarada Galamaran. There we are. The way I like to do it is if I send everyone to the same place, I, that's what I should have done with these. Send everyone to the same place, and then all you need to do is as soon as there's an army there, like, make it and then move it away. No, it's far too many horses. That one's done. That one's done, but they can go there because that's part of their army. That one was easy because so I just attached one siege for them. Oh, I still need more infantry here. Is that us? There we go. So now all we need to do is... Four, five, six, two, three, four, select this unit, move them away. <clears throat> That's that place. And then slowly but surely you can just make your armies back up. <clears throat> Etistan is over. I realise that we're over the... Uh, the time limit for this episode, but I'm going to wait until this war's finished. Oh, we've got a large revolt in Benguela. I love how there's no no rhyme or no reason to this, it's just that's what happens. Oh, Christ almighty. The, uh, the large revolt's not particularly large, it's only 15 peasants. So if I send two of these over, we should be fine. Siege is over, let's send him to Zazo. There we go. Nearly there, nearly there. We've sieged pretty much half their country. That's cool. France left 49,000 men. Oh, won the siege. And where's the other one? Bukamir. Kawar was done, Bagamir is there. Okay. On the Siege of Ramo as well. Awesome, there we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. There we go. Move this unit and get them out. Can shove one of the unassigned leaders in it. Ah, sorted. Siege of Katoko is done. Ah, music to my eyeballs. Almost there as well, we've got, what's that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 left, 7, M missed you. You're hiding underneath the large revolt. Luckily we've got 11, so it's only like 2 trips and that's us done. Siege of Manga is over. Manga! Canem's done. This one's done, Log Logoni. 
Lagoon? I don't know. I don't know African names. European names I'm generally alright with, but African names, nah. Can't do it. Just can't do it. Right, peace off on no. Right, this world's pretty much over anyway, so I'm just going to call it an episode here. So as always guys, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CJ, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.